On this bike, we have installed a pressurized fork cartridges and 15-inch adjustable shocks. Watch this on our channel. For stunt riding, it's also necessary to replace a belt with a chain, which has less power losses and has a better torque response. To install a chain, we have to completely disassemble the primary chain case. First, drain oil. The drain plug is magnetic. The tread is damaged, but it can be recovered. Next, remove peg, shift lever and chain case cover. The gasket is not damaged and can be reused. Longer bolts are located around the clutch hub. It's recommended to unplug the minus battery wire to avoid accidental spark and start a launch. To remove the clutch, first loosen the nut, remove the snap ring and release plate. Next, block the rear wheel with the highest gear and foot brake. The nut has a left-hand tread and fixed with a tread lock, but can be unscrewed easily with no problem. But the compensator sprocket nut is stuck, so even impact range cannot unscrew it. In this case, we have to remove the chain adjuster and block sprockets with special tool which we made from two pieces of alloy profile. Nick, I need help. <laughs> Red tread lock works very well and should be removed before assembling. Now the compensator sprocket, clutch, chain with adjuster can be removed together. Next, remove the starter jack shaft assembly. The bolt is fixed with a top washer. Unscrew the starter body from the right side. The front bolt is accessible, but the rear one needs an extra long hex range, which we made from regular L shape, cutting the long part. Unscrew the terminals to remove the primary chain case. The lower bolt can be removed with the joint wrench without removing the exhaust system. The primary chain case is held with inch bolts, which fixed by top washers. Two bolts holding the gearbox are longer than the others. Don't forget to take out the bushing and spring, because they might come off. Bell pulley is fixed with the left tread nut. To remove it, you need a special long socket 1 and 7 8 inch. Such socket also can be made with a pipe. I cut the belt not to remove the swing arm. A new 21 front sprocket has three quarters of set. The nut is tightened counterclockwise with straight lock to 150 newton meter. It's better to block the sprocket with a special tool or a foot brake via a chain. I have not got a chain yet, so I block the sprocket with a rod. If the holes in a sprocket and washer are not aligned, the nut needs to be tightened extra. Bolts are tightened to 12 newton meter with tread lock.
Before assembling the primary chain case contact surface, bolts, nuts and bushings should be cleaned. The primary chain case is set up with a sealant. Engine to gearbox bolts should be loosened to align all contact surfaces. I install old O-ring, but it's for single use. It's recommended to lubricate the shift rod with high temperature grease. It's important to set the primary chain case carefully, not to smudge the sealant. The inner bolts are set with a sealant to avoid oil leakage. Here there is one outer bottom bolt which is installed through the terminal. First, tighten gearbox bolts to 22 newton meter. After the engine bolts to 24 newton meter. I use old tub washers, but they should be replaced. After setting the primary chain case, engine to gearbox bolts are tightened to 50 newton meter. Next, the jack shaft is assembled. The top washer is broken, so I made a new one. But I have forgotten to minimize a diameter, so before installing the primary cover it needs to be removed and grind. Fixation bolt is tightened by hand, with a minimal torque. After setting the starter, make sure that the shaft is rotating freely. Compensator sprocket, clutch and chain tensioner are assembled together. I put the compensator sprocket nut so it does not come off when tightening the clutch. The clutch nut is tightened to 108 Nm with red tread lock. Such torque wrenches can switch the direction by changing the socket side. Compensator sprocket nut is tightened to 220 newton meter with red tread lock. To set the clutch free play, the adjusting rod is screwed in all the way by hand, after it's loosened by half a turn and fixed with the nut. The chain slug should be from 16 to 22 mm between sprockets. The tensioner bolt is tightened to 39 Nm. Before installing the primary cover, I set the minus terminal and grinded the top washer so it wouldn't touch the bushing in the cover. Cover bolts are tightened to 12 newton meter with a blue tread lock. The drain plug is set with a sealant and should be 4 mm above the cover surface. To put the oil, the inspection cap should be removed. I put a professional oil pakella for Harley Davidson motorcycles. The oil level should be between the bottom of the clutch spring and inspection hole. The cap is installed with O-ring, but I put some sealant, seems it was on purpose. Bolts of the inspection cap are tightened by hand, with minimal force. All bolts should be set with tread lock. To install rear sprocket, the wheel should be removed.
The new sprocket has 51 teeth and 0.46 inch offset. Since the stock washers are bigger than required, we use custom ones with stock balls. I'll tighten these balls to 85 Newton meter when the wheel is installed on the bike. The front and rear sprockets are aligned, so we didn't mess the offsets and the chain can be put on. I put the old belt in the degreasing machine by Motorne Technology. You can find a wide range of professional degreasing equipment for workshops and manufacturers on their website. Link is in the description. When finished, we got an awesome strong 530 chain with black plates. To install the chain, it's necessary to set the minimal tension to define its length. Also, the shorter the wheel distance, the easier to make wheelies. The video how to install the chain you can find at our channel. When assembling, it's important to control the width of master link, not to overpress it. Chain slug must be about 15 mm between sprockets in the tightest position. This position is achieved when the swing arm is on the line between the centers of the sprockets. To compress the shocks, you can use a strap or a heavy person. Also, you can unscrew shocks mounting balls. Chain slug is measured when the sprockets are at maximum distance. Without load, with 15 inches shocks, a chain slug is about 35 mm. I align the rear wheel with the Motion Pro special tool. The wheel axle nut is tightened to 88 Nm. Adjusting screws are fixed by hand. Sprockets and chain provide better acceleration, reduce power losses, a chain won't break and can be replaced without removing primary chain case. Also, this set looks cool. Subscribe if information was useful.